Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Marino Guide, a simple guide for cadets and seafarers. Before anything else, please don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, and hit the notification bell. Our topic for this video is How to read ship's draft In this video, I will discuss the definition of ship's draft, its importance, and the correct way of reading it. Also, I will provide some examples so that you can learn it easier. Now, let us define what is a draft. Suppose that a container ship named Motor Vessel Marino Guide is alongside berth number 3 of Manila International Container Terminal. In the illustration, the light blue line is called the water line. It is defined as the line where a boat's hull meets the surface of the water. On the other hand, keel is the main structural member in the backbone of the ship running longitudinally along the center of the bottom of the hull from stem to stern. The distance between the two is called draft. In short, draft is one of the principal dimensions of any waterborne vessel and is defined in technical terms as the vertical distance between the ship's keel and the water line of the vessel. Importance of ship's draft We need to know the ship's draft because of two main reasons. 1. To find the displacement of the ship at any given time and to calculate the cargo loaded or discharged. Because for many cargos and many ships, the calculation of the displacement by means of draft measuring is only one way to find out how many cargo is on board. 2. To know at which area of the sea surface ship can safely navigate and in which area cannot navigate due to the lack of depth. By adjusting the loading and other consumables on board, we can arrive at a particular drop in a depth restricted area. The reading of draft is taken from the six draft marks. 3 on starboard or the right side and another 3 on the port or simply the left side. These draft marks are situated in the forward, middle, and the aft part of the ship's hull. This is how draft marks look like in the ship's hull. Draft reading is done where the water line and the draft mark are crossing. Usually, the draft marks are in meters. The main meter marks are marked as an Arabic numerals followed by the letter M such as 8M, 9M, or 10M. In between the meter marks are Arabic numeral markings, such as 2 to indicate 20 cm, 4 to indicate 40 cm, 6 to indicate 60 cm, and 8 to indicate 80 centimeters. Take note that every symbol in the draft is 10 centimeters high. The vertical distance between the symbols is 10 centimeters high as well. From this point up to this point, 
this is equal to 100 centimeters or 1 meter. Now that we know the measurement of each symbol in the draft, let us have a practice in draft reading. Let's say that the water line is in this point. What is the draft reading? I will give you 10 seconds to think of the answer. The answer is 9.00 meters. If your answer is correct, good job! If not, you can try again in the next example. Let's say that the water line is in this point. What is the draft reading? I will give you 10 seconds to think of the answer. The answer is 9.40 meters. Let's say that the water line is in this point. What is the draft reading? I will give you 10 seconds to think of the answer. The answer is 9.65 meters. Let's say that the water line is in this point. What is the draft reading? I will give you 10 seconds to think of the answer. The answer is 9.55 meters. Let's say that the water line is in this point. What is the draft reading? I will give you 10 seconds to think of the answer. The answer is 9.90 meters. Let's say that the water line is in this point. What is the draft reading? I will give you 10 seconds to think of the answer. The answer is 9.76 meters. Let's say that the water line is in this point. What is the draft reading? I will give you 10 seconds to think of the answer. The answer is 9.48 meters. Well done, guys. We finished the lesson about draft reading. For those who answered the practice exercises correctly, very good. You fully understood in how to read a draft. But for those who got a few mistakes, don't worry. Practice makes perfect.
You can play the video again so that you can master draft reading in no time. But before I end this lesson, let me give you some precautions in draft reading. 1. At the time of reading the draft marks, the vessel should be upright with a minimum trim. 2. Draft marks should be read with the observer as close to the waterline as safe and reasonably possible in order to reduce error. 3. In heavy sea conditions, there may be waves, swell, pitching, and rolling to take into account. In these conditions, reading is done using the wave cycle. Normally, one wave out of every five waves will be absolutely calm. So, you must read the draft at the particular wave a few times and average it. This reading will give an accurate reading of drafts. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any topic or topics that you want to be discussed and explained, don't forget to comment down below. See you in my next video. This is Marino Guide, signing off.